up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is as accomplished a submission specialist as we've seen cross into the UFC in years. And other than the Damian Maya types, most guys just aren't used to facing opponents at this level. You got to think he'll be trying to get this fight to the canvas early so he can work to set up a submission. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. He has had massive success, not just inside the octagon, but in the world of straight grappling. Fighting out of Katy, Texas, he was born in Houston. Still one of the younger fighters on this roster, top to bottom. Super Sage Northcutt, a lot of hype and pressure and expectations placed upon this young man. But he has delivered at times in his UFC career, a little bit up and down of late. We'll see what Super Sage Northcutt has for the masses in another big opportunity spot tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, the behemoth. And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a karate fighter. Holding a professional record on 10 wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Super Sage Northcutt! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. So here's the karate stylist, Super Sage Northcutt, 21 years old. He was discovered on the wildly popular reality show Dana White looking for a fight. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. He's back up. Oh! Well, this is chopping up a lead leg 101. This is exactly the way you do it as the leg kicks continue to pile up. And you can already start to see his opponent slowing down a little bit. May want to check one of those, bro. Absolutely. Oh, tagged him. Hook to the head there by Super Sage Northcutt. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Goes for a single. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Northcutt, Joe. Lands to the body. Oh, beautiful combination. And both guys. Oh, flying knees. Vicious combinations. Clean jab. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, that move left will work. Nicely done. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over two minutes now to go. The kick lands. Northcutt going for the takedown here, but he misses. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Nice shot. Oh, jumping knee. Nice 
job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That strike will count. Takedown defense has held up thus far. Exactly. Oh, effective strike there by Sage Northcutt. Nice leg kick. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Oh, slam me! Oh, head kick! Nice defense here. Single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. No, oh, the left leg goes high. That one side means we've reached the end of round one. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. All right, second round underway. Oh, and he connects there. Nice straight left and a right hand behind it. Northcutt gets in the clinch. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with them. And he's got him down. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponents timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, if he can change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Now he's got over under, Joe. to the head there by Northcutt. And he's back up again. Went high, missed. Kick lands forward there. He's back up to his feet. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back up again. Oh, flying knee. And now he lands a combination. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, he's going for it here. Under two minutes here to go in round two. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. Nice high kick. Oh, rips the body shot there. Northcutt gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, jumping knee! Head kick! Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Gotta figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, flying knee! Oh, big oh, left! Man. He's out! Oh. Devastating flying knee for the victory. Yeah, Joe, devastating is one way to describe it as the knee knockout comes here in this round, and that's a big stoppage win for him. He was very accurate and precise with his strikes here tonight, and particularly when it comes to that knee strike, you don't have to put a ton of mustard on it to get the desired result. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Super Sage Nova! So congratulations to the eternally positive Super Sage Northcutt. This was a big effort out of him here tonight. He had a lot of doubters coming in, and now I think you've got to look far and wide to find any remaining naysayers. This kid has all the tools to be a UFC superstar.